we was rehearsing um, in my grandmother's uh, living room, mm -hmm. and we heard some shots ring out mm -hmm. outside, and we were like, "What's those shots?" But you know, you know how the hood is. Like, everybody just kind of normal. It's, yeah, just, cool. it's, a, it's just a normal thing that go on. So we kept singing. About ten minutes later, ambulance show up. Somebody out there laid out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like those moments are just we in the living room rehearsing for a goal. Like we trying to get out. We trying to we trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? But right outside the door is just is reality. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men. I'm Iman Shumper here with my big brother Ari. Ari, gonna say what's up to the people. What's going on, people? What's going on? Today we got one of Iman's co-stars on the the shot. Shy. Yeah. yeah on Showtime. Right. Don't, don't, hesitate shy, on, shy. don't hesitate on us. The Shy. Uh, you on Showtime. It? You ain't watch it yet? Huh? Yeah, no. It's all good. No, it's no, all no, good no, if you ain't watch it, man. No. It's all good. It's really just, you know, no. how you pay. You I'm know. fluid. Yeah, no. We know you're still cutting checks. Jacob <laughs> Lattimore, man. What's going on? How are you? What's happening, man? Good bring to be here. Bring my snap, dog, Jacob Lattimore, on to the show, good man. Yeah. Welcome, my dog. Welcome, my dog, to the show, man. Emmett. Good to be it's here. Emmett. You, know, Emmett. you know what? I've accepted it. Like, literally, when I'm in the, when the airport, it's like, Emmett, how right, you doing? Right, that's him. Hey. That's what I'm saying. How's the response like? Does the Emmett get more cheers than Jacob? Yeah, sometimes. How do you feel? Lately, you? Do you like, do you enjoy it? Like, like, Emmett, Emmett becoming it's bigger cool. than Jake? It's cool, because I mean like. It mean you're doing your job? Yeah, I just feel like the, the show is working. I feel like up until the shy, people weren't calling me by my character names. You know what I'm saying? Real so something. like, I feel like when they call you by your character name. You did a great job. It's an yeah, impact. Something. Real that, talk. Yeah. You know, that like no other project has has done. So. As a black actor, man, you really want to make sure you get a solid like piece of content that's just like for the culture, mm -hmm. and you know you want to do all type of movies, but you want that love and basketball vibe. You want the shy. You want the everybody hates Chris. You want that everything that stamp on, on the BET. culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything so, you see on BET. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> hey, yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> he always gonna be with us. <laughs> right, right. I, I like that you touched on a bunch of different arts. We're gonna dive into the theme of art imitates life. Yeah, yeah. Um, how was it going? Like. Cause you did the shot what when you was twenty, right? Y'all was turning, y'all was turning twenty one that year. Yep. Chicago was a vibe. It right, is. It right. Was a vibe. So you, you got to me? celebrate your twenty first birthday in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. How was that? It was After lit. playing the guy on the shot that you're not lit. from there, but you now are from there. Oh man. Emmett's from there. Emmett's mm -hmm. from there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's it, it definitely got a a special place in my heart. You feel me? So it's Crazy. like I grew up there. You feel me? Like we. <laughs> We filmed there four or five months out the year. I spent half of, half of my life there. You know what I'm saying? That's so it's like, crazy. it's yeah. crazy. That's super crazy. It's crazy. But I enjoy the city. I enjoy filming there. Like, we just rap. You know, we got on the yeah. boat, looked at the city. It, it was, it's always vibey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and Milwaukee, like, where I'm from, an uh, hour up. So a lot of my family come down and see me. So it's not, it's not like the usual workspace where, you know, my pops or my grandparents can just pull up on me while I'm working. Right, right. Versus like when I'm, Overseas or in New Orleans, wherever I'm filming a, a different movie, at, it's like it's a little harder to see people you love yeah. while you're working. So it kind of balance out. Balance out. Go to set. You kind of get that reset. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Does it feel like home a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Because it ain't it ain't too far, and it, it feels at this point it's like it's comfortable. You know. Mm -hmm. So. Once you know your way around the city a little bit, you good. Yeah, you know I still GPS, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where is that? And he don't want to get caught up. Either. I'm like, like he on. know, like I need to yeah, know my destination. Places, there you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where what's I'm your going. What's your favorite part so far in Chicago? Like, honestly, just like the the River Walk, just walking down there, um, the estate, estate where all the um all the stores is at. I used to always shop over there. I used to go to Zara every day to just get new T-shirts. Like, oh yeah, the Magnificent Mile. Yep, yeah, Michigan. just over there, and then um, I always stay in the city though. I went, I went down, I went down south one time. I got, I got back up there. How far did you go? Uh, I was like forty minutes down. Oh, okay. There. Was okay. I was at a pool party and I, I, yeah, 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 I was, he was like, tweaking. I was like, it's time to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> you can have too much fun there. Yeah, I was like, e, let's get back to the nah, city. He hey. saw too many orange hair dudes and <laughs> micro braids and they shit. Was vibe, he had his limit. They was like, what up, Emmett? They said, this the shot for real. I was like, yeah. Mama, yeah. I was like, like, I like, boy, you outside, ain't you? I see. I see. Yeah, no, oh, that's bro. dope though. Yeah, it's, it's cool, uh, even just like hearing you talk about the city in like a positive light. Like a lot of people yeah. get caught up in like 
um, the negative parts of it. And I would tell people all the time, like, right. every city's got its negatives. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Chicago's actually beautiful. Matter of fact, speaking of Chicago, Chicago style pizza or New York style pizza? Nah, Chicago. Okay. I mean, we, we talking though. We ain't talking deep dish though, right? I, no, we I'm can continue. Really that's that. all you need. You don't have yeah, to yeah, get in Chicago. specifics. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, it ain't just it. deep dish that we got yeah, going on. I don't on. like the deep dish. I'm like, oh, that was no, it. Don't start you tweaking. Here. See, yeah, you was good. I ain't like you was you good. I'm just saying, I'm not, a, I'm not a we fan. We gave you a chance to be good. Just <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. I tried it. Just, just like, stop ah. where you are. I'm sorry, Chicago. Just stop. You don't just, have to you know apologize. What? You know what? Stay on this we corner. Gonna go, we'll be back. We're going to rewind. <laughs> we'll yeah, be we back. Gonna... Emmy about to get canceled. Stay on this corner. No, we'll yeah. no, no, no. Out. We don't cancel. <laughs> he didn't we don't it. cancel. Yeah, we don't cancel. We don't we do just, cancel corner. Yeah, you just going to sit here. You're going to have to defend Chicago. yourself. Chicago. But, but yeah, you're going to take Chicago a break on Yeah, you're going to take a break. We're going we're gonna to stop right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, it was cool It was cool to hear you talk in a positive light on it just because we grew up in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Being Oak Park kids, like, I don't even know how, like, I tell people all the time, I didn't know I was from Oak Park until, like, seventh grade when I wrote it wrong on the Scantron, and they like, yo... What school? What? Where do you where live? Is that yeah, like yeah. Boy, wait, wait a second. Right. Why are you going to Oak Park address in Chicago? Right. And yo, yeah, you don't know your zip code. Like, what you got going on? <laughs> basic shit. Yeah, yeah like, basic shit that right. I just should know. But I just, I thought we was from Chicago. I wear a Chicago Bulls jersey every goddamn day. Right. Never seen my dad go to anything in Oak Park. Every time he drove, we went straight onto the expressway, I go gotcha. straight downtown, I see Chicago police cars, that's where I thought I was from. That's what we, I tell everybody. Yeah, we drove across, like, like you we, drive across the street, you're in Chicago, like you don't know what. But not even that, we yeah. spent so much time in him, Chicago, downtown, doing yeah, shit. we were downtown. Like, you just we saw the city, the city, city. beautiful, Maxwell's. Yeah, 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 like we think of the city different though. We think of the trains and eating a, right. eating a Polish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chilling. That's like when we watch the show. I'm looking at the shit like this shit is for real. Mm-hmm. Like, right. like even that the toxicity of you and and Tiff, like right. Eminem Tiff, <laughs> doubling back on your BM and all. Like we we know this all yeah. too well. Way like, too well. The feeling that every person in Chicago, we all got our own story going on, but we all right. trying to help each other. Yeah. But we all kind of you know hurting each other at the same. Like we've for seen real. this shit happen. The mindsets happen to change and never do. The times you thinking this is about to be a great summer and then exactly. a murder happened. It's like we've seen it in so many ways. And I thought the show was so relatable. I'm just like, yeah. bro, I wonder if like growing up, because you 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 were 20 and now you what? 20, 25. 25. So I'm about to be 26. Yeah, I was going to say 26. I'm going, but I, was, I ain't I'm, know if I'll you was like finna be 27. Yeah, yeah. Nigga could have been finna be 29. Yeah. He'd be, he be celebrating half you birthdays. Feel, half my birthday. dog, yeah, so, you feel me? My dog, so in the future with it. Right, like I'm four months yeah. closer, nigga. Way ahead Respect it. Leo season's on the way. It's approaching. Are you a Leo? Yeah, it's on the way. My mama a Leo. We might be able to get along. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all was talking both about being on set. Right. You have any stories amongst the both of you, like or any anything that happened insignificant? I'll start it off. Yeah, I got you one, started man. off. I got yeah. one. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, you can start off. Oh, uh, so I've been on the show, and I I I, I kind of made a cameo, which turned into you know one more extra appearance appearance that they wrote in to like give a cliffhanger for the next season that I would be on there. Mm-hmm. Um. After that, now I'm written on to the show. So my first couple interactions outside of just with Hannah Hall is like, you know what I mean? Like for me, it was kind of nerve wracking a little bit just because it's like I'm finally getting to meet him. But all I'm thinking in my mind is I don't want to mess up this vibe. Like Mm -hmm. I want to add to this vibe. They got a vibe that they already go together. Like, and it's cool to also be on set and see like they just friends and just run around and they can right, turn right, it on. Right. And you turn be like, off, yo, yeah. they've been together forever. Uh-huh. Like they got yeah. pain going yeah, on. Right, like, right. They know each other. Like they don't even and care. And we really like, debate about the storylines. Yeah. And the, and the, yeah. And the, they the arguing, choices. no, he would be more sad. And right. like, they like, no, man, that would make him look soft. Like, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? Before they start. Right. So okay. like it was my first time getting to see all of this mm-hmm. happen. Happen. So I'm lightweight trying to put everything together, but I'm also like very trying to be natural about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, we ready to do this. Yeah. We do the first couple of takes. <laughs> My dog go with the script, everything that is on the script. 
even the down to the the parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> my dog did He's every action. Break, yeah, that. every action, every eye contact, everything was there. I was right. like, okay, that works. Boom. I'm like, they switching the camera angle a little bit, whatever, we doing this other thing. But now it's yeah. like, I guess the camera is on him mm -hmm. and it's behind me. Mm -hmm. Boy, that man had to grab his bag, and that man grabbed his bag the same way every take, dog. <laughs> this take, the man decided to snatch this bag. Yeah, I did it a little different. He did it so different. And Aggressive. Boy, yeah, I'm tell I don't know what the director would have used, but boy, <laughs> when I'm telling you how I, how the bag left my hands, I felt like still the burn sensation of like it leaving my. It felt yeah. like. In basketball, I wanted Stack. to get a dunk Tiffin. and somebody just In his me. mind, you stole it. Yeah, you just stole from me. Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I, the way he. It, yeah. It'd be Bro, he did though. it. I, I, I turned up, I started pulling my pants. Like, I really was mad. <laughs> he got like, into the fighting stance. My whole, my whole He was chest, ready. With a gun. That was, was ready. ready. Oh, bro, gun. I was, I was, for, for a second, I didn't like him. Like, I could have, <laughs> whatever, if they had something in the script where we mm. were supposed to get into it, I would have been so ready to do whatever that was. Right. Like, I had never felt, I, I dog, we had been laughing. The man was like the most calm, chill <laughs> He was acting like he did one where he was like acting kind of more shy about mm. it like that. Boy, that <laughs> man snatched that bag and I, I got alert. And it was like, it was my, <laughs> it was my first time dealing with that. Right. And after they, the scene, they was all like, you know, chill about it. And I'm like, so y'all ain't just see that man risk that bag. <laughs> I, then, then I couldn't turn it off to laugh. Like everything was funny to me because I'm like, bro, you can really act, bro. Like you really just made me want to like fight you. But he was just turning it on and off, and then yeah. he do this, yeah. like actor, right actor. after, yeah, right, right after, after they actor. say I'm, cut. I be like, like hey, I come up to him like, how was that? Yeah, like crazy. He's like, shit. I'm like, the shit out of you. Like, <laughs> but then like, the next take won't do that. Yeah. But it's like it gets your real reaction. Mm -hmm. Nah, because I feel like I want I learn. You know, they say like, hey, do it again. Let's do the same thing. I was taught to never do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like each take, mm. do something a little different. Because like once they edit it down, you never know what takes they're gonna choose. And then now when you look at your whole performance take, you like you go your dynamics right. are crazy. You go here, then you go there, and they got stuff to choose from. You know what I'm saying? So like when I when I did that, it was like I'm gonna get a different reaction out of him oh this time. Oh my god, you know what I'm boy. It, worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It worked. Well, I just make perfect, nigga. I'm trying to match the, match. Y'all aggression, you yeah, feel me? Because yeah. y'all are Chicago. So when you when you come on set, like you ain't even gotta you ain't even gotta act, bro. You you you. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm you. I'm kind of navigating. I'm like I'm watching you. I'm watching Hannah. I'm watching mm, you know like I'm uh, watching the lingo. I'm like okay, all right. Where 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 can I find find my place in this? You know what I'm saying? Where it's like trying to find the little the little uh, inflections on the words mm -hmm. and. Car versus car, you that's, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like what's going on, G? Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the G's. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm starting to peep it a little more. <laughs> what about the Joes? Yeah, I, we, Joes more. Old Joe, school. more old school. Yeah, yeah. it's a little more oh, old school. Them kids not. More. They yeah, not. They wait, wait. Whoa. I have it. Yeah, I, I personally. Oh, you feel old now? Yeah, old. I feel yeah, so old. old. Yeah, Definitely I didn't. I didn't get that from too many of my peers. Oh, don't do me like that. I ain't get it. Hey, Jake, Jake, hold on, though. Don't do that. Don't don't hit us with the peers. I ain't get it, bro. That's not. I mean, that's not a problem. No, I just I did recognize it was like. Oh my goodness. It's, like, definitely, oh. it's definitely lingo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just hurt his soul. My bad. I mean, hurt his soul, dog. Is it ever... Dude, uh, that's crushing. It probably ain't weird for you. Mm -hmm. Is it... Well, it might be. When you have to date someone on the show, mm -hmm. and then somebody else has to date them, do you inherit the <laughs> jealousy accidentally? <laughs> uh... Nah, nah. I mean, like, was it like, like, think, like dating Hannah? Did you ever feel a way like this nigga Emmett just go let? <laughs> it, it, I mean, like this season was different because it was like all my scenes were with her. You yeah. feel me? So it's like now it's like you come on set, it's a little different. <laughs> then we get to improv and in between just to kind of irritate each other a little bit right before we get into the scripted part. Uh, you you know what I'm saying? And then it's back. like he's like. You know, my ex, and you know, I'm like my baby mama. And then we just start looking at each other like, I'm sick of you. Like, I'm sick of you. You know what I'm saying? And then, it's, then as soon as they say action, we in it. You know what I mean? We just, we vibing. And then as soon as they say cut, like, I ain't going to lie. They're right. going right. to believe that, G. They're going to believe that. I be believing all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll be like, man, like this show's speaking to me. I be Bro, I ain't going to lie. Shit. Some of the shit, like, 
Bro, I, I mean, I can't spoil the, yeah, what's going to yeah. happen. But Don't. It's just, but it's just like some of the shit, they got an incredible writing crew. It's a lot of cool it, stuff that go on. Is that, that more like a go with the flow type thing? Or is that something y'all go in like, yo, we got to get this down right? Or is nah. it something you got to I mean, I feel like they got to get, they gotta yeah. get one that they nail that's yeah. like whatever they envisioned and wrote. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you got to nail that. But I feel like whatever directors they've brought, at least since I've been around, the directors that I've been around, they're all about getting that shot and then using whatever time they have left to, to create, us, yeah. To let us play. Like they, they give, especially like Kim, Hannah, uh, what's my man mm -hmm. name that played Duda? Um, uh, Curtis. Curtis, Curtis. Uh, you just, you gotta get him a shot. Like mm -hmm. let them pull some shit out. Like, yeah, got ad-lib. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No, well I mean not completely ad-lib. I don't know if they let yeah. them go completely off script. Like it's a pretty good script though. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. it's, it's a, like he said, they, what they call? Oh, I'm learning, no, 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 I'm learning the, a B C D takes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically just that's, that's just some that's extra film. That's from being yeah, just that yeah. last big take. shot film. They just terms. like you know what, just have fun with it. Let's just go with yeah, it. Yeah, A B C D it. takes. However y'all feel it, you mm -hmm. know. So and that those are good for us because it, it allows us to be creative and throw something in. Have you ever had that where you just thought you just murdered you a it. scene? And you thought like, you nah. killed it, and they used the first take you. <laughs> nah, nah. I, it's like it's like it's it, it's this thing where. You can't leave set if you don't if it don't feel right. Like you can't. I can't. I can't leave set if I if I feel like I didn't get what I like came to do. So you'll fight the director. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm I like, can feel it. I'm like, yeah, look, like, it. but part of that is just, just making a great product. Yeah. yeah. Part of that is just making sure I come prepared. You know what I'm saying? Making sure like that day that I'm I won't even I won't even need to have that battle. You know what I'm saying? So as long as I'm doing my part, the camera's set up and it's ready, it's in position. I know my lines. I know, I know the backstory of this story. I, I, I'm pulling from my personal life, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I got it. It's, it's, especially if it's a if it's an important moment, it's if it's a shifting moment for your character, mm -hmm. you're like, oh no, that day, I got to get ready for that day. You start looking at the schedule, like, okay, this date, all right, okay. <laughs> you start going through the script, like, all right, looking at the. <laughs> Start playing the music, like and you start pacing back and forth in your apartment. You start looking like yeah. a crazy man. You like, yo, you good? My yeah. my pops was chilling with me. He like, he said, huh? I said, oh no, dude, I'm reading the script. I'm reading the script. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm in my I'm in my head. Dialed it's just, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, it's like depending on the role or the the scene, you gotta you kind of gotta go that far, that extra mile to yeah. kind of like psych yourself out a little bit. Yeah, you know, I feel like you do with that role. Like I really. I be believing like nah, it, you, you sitting here, nigga. You yeah. in me? Like, yeah, that's what I'm like, saying about it. it. Like, yeah. do you ever feel like you learn anything or grow as a, as Jacob yeah. through Emmett? Absolutely, cause like I ain't, I don't have kids. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't got the baby mama drama vibe. So it's like I'm learning through. I'm learning on screen. Like the first season, the baby couldn't like mm -hmm. Dylan would just not stop crying. Like I and I was trying to figure that out on screen. And I'm sweating. I'm oh, like, nervous. Like real. Yeah, cause his dad would hand him off to me behind camera, and I would be, and he'd just be like, ah, he go crazy, like right in my ear. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see the whole first season, he's just crying the whole mm -hmm. time because I ain't know how to stop it. You know what I'm saying? So by so it's like you was really learning. I'm really baby. learning. Like, come on, how man. Like, baby. help me yeah. out Damn. in my scene. Like, please stop crying, please. And I'm like. I can't remember my lines, why he crying, because it's, it's yeah, just too loud. Yeah, it's yeah. No, I get it. And it, 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 it That's it, crazy. You yeah. know, I know, you know, we know that all. Yeah, <laughs> you bro. already know. We know that all. You well, already know. Picture trying, fuck, trying to remember a line. Picture trying to get some sleep. Oh. Fuck a line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. I got Try a clock. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. They say cut. <laughs> And I go home and I just be like, he be handing the baby off. I be like, what I'm was not, not today? Ready. Today was just <laughs> yippity doo dah. Goodbye. <laughs> today was different, bro. I'm like, I was I was a real father today. Real talk. And then you <laughs> and you look at on the screen, you like, it's I'm crazy. Because <laughs> you, hey, Emmett got EJ together now. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, that now, now good. he like, now he wanna. Hey, my boy be ready to work. Having a great time now, boy. My boy be on set having he a good old time. He be ready to work. Man. He be ready. Yeah. He like. 
I think once they start seeing themselves on TV, once mm-hmm. they start like seeing what they were doing, mm-hmm. they were like, when are we gonna get to work? Oh, it's what a twin. Doing? They twins. They twins. They, twins. Oh, they, oh, sub. they sub for each other. Yep. Yeah, it's raw as hell. And that's uh, actually what I find. That's how most. That's how most shows do. Like they, so they hire twins. Just so they in case can one get tired. Yeah, one sleepy. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's a dope idea. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy that it's come to that. Cause it's, but you got to think if you got a kid on the show, you can't. You may to get the show done. You may need that kid longer than an allotted right, time right, you may right. need it you yeah. know what i'm saying it's like and when they on that time schedule they got a rap but speaking of that character and your character like y'all really grew on camera yeah what's it like growing up and at the same time actually growing in real life while your character is still you know hasn't really become the right. person he needs to be as well. Like, do you kind of feel yeah. conflicted in your real life just because you see kind of like, you know, the negative aspects of what you can try to do? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I can I can find myself like not tapping out of it. Like, I'm like, wait, wait, I'm not Emmett today. I'm, I'm Jacob. Mm-hmm. Today is mm. today is Jacob. I'm responsible. I got my stuff together. <laughs> I'm like, responsible. this is, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not stupid. I got it together. You know what I'm saying? You know, so like, I definitely have to, um, I think as soon as I get to Chicago, as soon as I get around Hannah, as soon as I get around the cast, we do that table read. And like, at this point, it's kind of just like, it's just, I don't know, it's just easier. You, you Five seasons in, you just like, it's normal. And I think that's when, that's the beauty of diving into a character again and again and again. Like with a film, you only get to do it one time. Mm-hmm. You do it one time and that's it, and it's a wrap. But with The Shy or a TV series, any any TV series you, you book for, and they go as long as many seasons we have, it's like each right. season you're like, all right, how can, I, how can I dig deeper this time? Mm-hmm. How can I get them to know Add another layer. You know what I'm saying? How can I add another layer? Like, what what could be the shifting point for this character? Because mm-hmm. you know, you see somebody when they were young, and then you see them, and you and you've been away from them for years, and then you see them again when they're an adult. They could be a totally different person. You know what I'm saying? So now we want to see what those what those steps are to that point. So it's like, it's uh, it's dope to be able to break down each season and be like, all right, this season it's another layer of growth. Mm-hmm. Is that a what you call? It? That's for JL. Uh huh. Yeah, my guy Clinch, Chicago. JL, so you went JL anchor. Anchor. I'm the, yeah, the anchor. He's the anchor. I feel like I'm the anchor. You know what I'm saying? It down. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he. <laughs> that must happen a lot. Like you, you holding it down. He like yeah. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. That was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter of fact, you said you want to know what else you need to load that up with. Go on, steal that st- sound by Give it to me one more time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We gonna steal that that's the break. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely the using that. That's hilarious, man. For sure, using that. So you gonna get an image chain? This, I, I promise, I'll, I I'll might, chill with it. I'll, you know what? I'll I let you be Jacob. That. I'll let you be Jacob. You know what? This. I, it might but be. But are you idea. getting an image chain? It might be a good idea. Even though it's my idea, I'm not buying it. I just want to know if you getting one. It, it's. I'm thinking about it now. I think it's. I think so it's when five. He wear, when he Welcome. wears that, he's in it. Put the JL. I, with I just the feel like if he came to Chicago with an image chain, it would just mean a lot to us. I'm down with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I feel like that. if the nigga came and sat down today and he had on a puffy coat, I'd be like, damn it. <laughs> oh, my mama, put a first <laughs> yeah. down on, son. Put a first down on. Put a first down on. Or Pelly, yeah. like, right. that's Emmett. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, yeah, there's, a, there's a new wave of young actors. Black, black actors. actors. It is. That, yeah. that are coming in. What ways have you seen the industry change? I feel like, I feel like the shows are revolving around more relatable like content so you you know if you're a young actor from from Chicago or wherever you are from it's like and you and you see a script like the shy or you see a script like power or you see a script like um you know all these other shows that are that are going on right now you don't have to pull too far from your your real situation you know what i'm saying so you making we making superstars out of out of these shows and, and they super relatable and like people are able to build their careers and and, and, and go from here mm-hmm. and now they can have a, a a platform to sort of go from you know what I'm saying and, and really become superstars yeah. and, and build their brand. Did movies used to focus only on a certain number of cities? No, I just feel like I feel like you had to be more experienced like back in the day. I feel like now it's like you don't have to have that much experience. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Like I didn't I didn't go to that many like acting classes like i, I might have went for like a solid week or two i think he was 11. 
It was a lot of stuff available. You feel me? Like you go to class. For you go eleven like, year olds. Yeah, it's it's child stars, bro. Hell yeah. I know, but I figured they would act first and then get child acting star lessons. No, no, they. I would, would think the... you let a kid just go do it. Nah. And if he likes it, then. No, I mean if, yeah. if it if it if it's a role that made sense and it, oh you got you did the acting lessons before the role yeah yeah copy but, but you that, landed the role off being you right exactly okay, so that's I was what like I'm, I'm like but you start to realize some people some people need it some people don't you know what I'm saying some people are like no nah, you probably need to go mm-hmm. learn a little bit more be like I came from the music world so I was already kind of acting in my music videos I was acting on stage I was already in that when was your first song you dropped I dropped my first record when I was like nine. Song You're called, just an entertainment baby. Yeah, I got signed. I got signed to Jive Records when I was thirteen. You yeah. got signed to Jive. Yeah, singing, singing. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was on the road. Like me, Diggy, Mindless Behavior. We was all touring for years and like, but I was still acting then. It was just music was more the forefront of my career. But like once I fell out with the label and stuff, it was just like acting was just. We know? got we got beef with them. No, we ain't got no beef. We ain't got no beef. Ain't no beef. We got. I got to come to your defense with like, job records, bro. I got new beef. We good. Oh, okay. We good. We love them. Huh? I got. I got people doing business with them over there. We good. Oh, we good. Oh, they yeah, good. good. They we picked good. the right guy. <laughs> come man, I didn't want them doing my. No, nah, it's like. But once I like built a, a solid fan base on on the music side, it was like, all right, I can come back to this independently when I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and um, lean no, you don't need to. Yeah, and we Leo. got Emmett now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't need no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah. See, Emmett give yeah, me that. Damn, that's fire, dog. Like, yeah. And you were saying we were speaking a little bit before, but you, uh, you was homeschooled. Yeah. The moment, oh, the moment you got your first job with that, or you, you kind of went to regular school while you was in a movie. See, I went in, in, in Milwaukee. I went to this. I went to an elementary school called Townsend. And you um, became Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you walked in and everybody was everybody was like. What's crazy right. though? During that time, my um my cousin and my pops gave me a, a Lion King script. I think uh, they was doing they was auditioning for the play, mm-hmm. and oh. I was like, Nah, I don't really want to act. You know what I'm saying? I wanna I wanna like do music first, and I had made that decision for myself really real real young, but then. I started going to uh, these little after-school programs called First Stage. Mm-hmm. Um, this was this was when I was went to uh, uh, elementary school called Elm in Milwaukee. So they had an after-school program called First Stage. I was being there like improving and reading the lines or whatever, and I started having fun with it. So once I moved to Atlanta, that's when I got homeschooled, mm-hmm. found an agency, started you know booking like small commercials and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and then it, it led to bigger projects and films and bigger opportunities. And then it's like, ever since then, it's just been like, it's I fell in love with acting. You know what I'm saying? Because I was scared to do it at first. And I was like, it was out of my comfort zone. But I realized it was like, I, felt, I found myself more and more comfortable on set. And then producers like, you good. And I'm like, I am? <laughs> like, I'm, and my first uh, scene was this, uh, this film called Vanishing on 7th Street. And I had to like hold a gun and like, I was like, Where's my mama? So I told my mama, <laughs> where's my mama? Where's my mama? You know, so I, I auditioned for I told my mama, I said, come into the audition room mm. and stand behind the camera. I looked at it and just pff, it came out. Tears, flew, yeah. just flow. She crying behind the camera. Yeah. And they like, cut, that's it. And I was holding, I was holding like a a, a, a box of like, it was, I think it was some blinds, bro. Like, you know, the blinds box that's yeah, yeah. long. So I'm, I'm holding that as the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding that as the gun hey, like this. I'm, the so prop I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They like, you yo. Been drooling with your mama back you know I'm just not oh, coming out. Yeah, I'm Viola nah, with yeah. it. Like, I'm he going thinking crazy. of past whoopings. Yeah. That's exactly. what he's thinking of. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's taking it up. Yeah, he yeah, like that he leather belt. That. Just, ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> Coming from a family of entertainers, your father being with a gospel group, mm-hmm. your cousin Kenny Lattimore. Yep. Your mom works in the industry. Yeah. How would you say your family influences your career? Everything, bro. Like, I think you know, I learned a lot from my pops and 
them coming up in the game when they was when they was around my age, like they always just like stay focused, stay away from them girls, stay away from all that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was, yeah, I remember. You know, I was like, hold up, for real. I'm like, you know, they always giving me game. They all, like yeah. it's it's the same, it's the same advice every time. It's nothing new, but it's always good to hear. It. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So like, damn, that's crazy. Say that one time. No, nah, yeah, it's like even though even though you get the same advice all the time, it's always good to hear it and, and be reassured of, of that of that that good advice because mm -hmm. you, you need it every step of the way. You know what I'm saying? Because you can forget. So, Especially you know. when it comes from somebody like your dad. Yeah. Your uncle. Uh, Where it got some know. weight to it. Yeah. Not just weight, but it's like, like he just said, like if you hear some crazy shit from your pops or from your uncle, you like, yo, I don't see you in that light. That's crazy you was out here doing some shit like this. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. It kind of connect the dots a little bit for right. you. And right. give you kind of like, you know, a visual in your own mind of them exactly. doing, you know, some fly shit if you know them to be a square now. Yeah, give me, give me your. What's your relationship with your father? Oh, I love him, man. Like he, um, he was, he was actually in Chicago. Actually, that, remember, I, I had a, uh, a, I called you that one night. He wanted to meet you that night. That, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. He I wanted to meet shit. you that night. Um, he had stayed with me for like a whole week while I was filming out there. We was just chilling Damn. the whole, the whole. Where week. he at now? He in uh, Indianapolis. Handy. Okay. Indianapolis, yeah. So I got a, I got a little sister. Oh, and, okay. Uh, Zalila, her name is, and you know she be on Facetime like, hey brother. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the elementary school teachers be like, that ain't your brother. And I'm like, I ain't even pulled up to the school yet. They're going to be Oh, crazy. they really don't think you really her oh. brother. The shy, something was on. I don't think the shy was on in their school. but um, <laughs> I hope something, not. You know, I hope not either. <laughs> something was on TV, and then she said, brother, um, to, the, to the screen. And the, and the teacher was like. That ain't true, bro. And then my, my dad came because my I'm a junior, so my dad is a senior. Mm. So when they when they see his name, they, they two like two together. Oh, yeah. that's it's got to be real. That's uh, that's, that's your son. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? That's so, fire. That yeah, is man. Though. Shout out to shout out to Pop Senior. <laughs> What's the best advice he ever gave you? I think the best advice is just staying humble, staying staying like staying 100. You know what I mean? Like staying um staying myself and, and just remember where I come from. Like. Skip from, that part, nigga. Give me the story. We from, we from Milwaukee. Give you me feel the story, me? nigga. Like, I remember one time. Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah. There I we remember, go. I remember one. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I remember one time we was uh we was rehearsing. We was rehearsing um in my grandmother's uh living room. Mm -hmm. And we heard some shots ring out mm -hmm. outside. And um and we were like, it was some shots. But you know, you know how the hood is, like everybody just kind of normal. It's just it's a, it's just a normal thing that go on. So we kept singing. About 10 minutes later, ambulance show up, somebody out there laid out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like those moments are just when you when we we in the living room rehearsing for a goal. Like we trying to get out. We trying to we trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? But right outside the door is just is reality. You know what I'm saying? And you just like, I don't wanna I don't wanna be around this. I don't wanna I don't wanna be this. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh it was always a humbling experience and just remembering those moments and seeing my dad and my uncles get out the hood and go to LA and I'm now I'm doing the same things they were doing when they were they were young and um you know just trying to take it take it an extra extra mile now it just it's, it give me that motivation to be like you know I I'm born into some sort of like a, a empire I would say mm -hmm. you know what I mean but now I want to take it to the next level where everybody knows about our family you know what I'm saying so um and I think acting is something no one in my family has conquered you know what I'm saying? So it's always been music with us, mm -hmm. but film is just a different space, where it's like, oh, that's that's Lattimore. So you related to, mm -hmm. oh, so you sing. To, you know what I mean? So it's just really um, that that advice of just staying humble, staying grounded, really just staying in touch with the family every day. Like really, really, at least once a week, twice a week. Like that's the best advice I can get. All the big moments in my life are moments that I just felt like everything's going wrong. I either heard yeah. my dad. Mm. I heard him. Right. I would hear my grandmother, my aunt, or my mom. Like yep. I didn't really go get advice from a lot of people, yep. but I can always remember little situations where it's like I'm about to lose it. Like I can't balance whatever right. the fuck is going on. I don't comprehend. Right. I don't know what question to ask, and it'd be right. like I just need one voice to say something. Yep. So that's why I was like, I ain't know if like like that time you saying somebody got laid out outside. Yeah. Was your pops that same style like ours, where it was like. 
Yep. I'm gonna give you this one jewel, little homie. Yeah. <laughs> it was really just to stay stay tapped in on what we doing. Like, like you know what I'm saying? And we're like, doing like he so he gave you that that mindset like we're doing this yeah. and so here. You ain't got to yeah. do that. So you ain't got to deal with <laughs> yeah. that out there. Exactly. Seeing his son about to about to you know go into a totally different lifestyle mm -hmm. and really really kind of changing the the lifestyle of the whole family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's just mm -hmm. like. My kids won't deal with what my dad dealt with. You mm. know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's just that 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 um what do you call it? That that generational kind of mm -hmm. change that of just loop. that loop. You in know what I'm loop. saying? And it's you, I stay hungry for it. And I start to see the picture in my mind, and I'm like, these are like these are the visions I, I feel like I had when I was a kid. Where I'm like, all right, now it's right. all happening. You where you know you're supposed saying? to be? Yeah. It's right where we supposed to be and. I love looking that, out for that little kid. Yo, you feel me? Yo, little kid that you... Yeah. So I got to look out Everybody for my little Everybody want to meet their kid self or look at their kid self. Real tall, like, nigga, I got you, bro. I got, got you. <laughs> you feel me? And you start out so down, young, bro. you like, you got to keep your... I think the the main thing that I, I pray for every day is just like keeping my mental through every stage in my career because I, I know that if I keep work if I keep working, I'm going I'm to progress. Mm -hmm. But if I keep my mental through it, it's, right, I'm, a, right. I'm a always, I'm gonna be straight. And you'll you know be saying? happy, like, be happy. A, yeah, like, you, know you won't what I'm be saying? so caught up in, you know, just success. Cause man. we gonna make, we gonna make a, a we gonna make more money. We you ever make, felt like your character, or your morals dwindled? Uh, Especially nah. with you coming from a, no, nah. nah? what you nah. coming from like a, Milwaukee? Uh, and Andy coming from a gospel what? background too, right? Nah. So you went from Milwaukee gospel background to well, that Atlanta was my, that was and my you dad. never tripped. That was so my, that that don't translate my, over. Like, no, yeah. my dad, my dad and my uncles were singing um, gospel. They were singing gospel. first. And you were singing. Yeah, but they were singing gospel first. Then they went to R and B. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I seen I seen the best of both worlds. You know That's what I'm saying? saying? I seen the At church. At what point you think was it your changes character for flaws? Them? You know what I'm saying? Was you breaking hearts? No, I mean <laughs> he was a great kid. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know whether to be. I mean, the you trigger. know the shoulders. You yeah, know, you know. Shoulders. I mean, look, <laughs> he was tight, but he was just like, look, oh, you know, man, like I remember. Some. I was, you know, I was, I was a young man, but you know, at the same time, on the spectrum, it was, I was definitely just focused. I yeah. was focused on what you needed to, be. what I needed to do, and like, you know, females was never like a. It, 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 it was, it was, it was, they fun, but it was never like, uh-uh, nah, no, was, you know what I'm saying? It was just an easy throw out there. I yeah, didn't, you know, and it, really at that know. time, it was like, I started so young, it was, right, it was coming right, from everywhere. Right, right, so it was really right, nice, right, <laughs> it's, right. really, it's really, it's really about, it's really, really, it's really, it's really, it's really, about, itch. Itch. It's really about just navigating through, you know, through all that chaos, like, all right, you know, yeah. you know, I, I ain't gonna go out tonight. I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna chill tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's making those decisions. I would think that it'd be damn near easier for you though, being homeschooled. Um, like you ain't never really dealt with real peer pressure back then. Nah, I didn't. I if didn't you said it. no, it was no. But the thing is, the industry, the industry provided that for me as well. Oh no, the industry gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. In a totally different capacity. Different way. But I'm talking about yeah. in the industry, you still got the. I don't know y'all. Right. Like us, yeah. nigga, I done known this nigga since sixth grade. So right. I'm like, if you've been straight, you've been, yeah. you see what I'm saying? That peer pressure is different. Or, right. man, y'all been, so y'all been going to, the, so we could go through the back over that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then make it like, this is the thing that I've been missing out on. Like, right. I ain't know about it. The whole school been doing this. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. cool. Like, y'all got homeschool. My daughter got homeschool. So I'm no, like, it's different, right? I'm learning. Like, that's why I'm like, I don't want her to be off, but you seem pretty regular. No, I definitely. Like, I, yeah, I definitely I gotta kept say my. That. He, I kept my social life. He the coolest uh, homeschool yeah, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You I, I definitely right. kept my social life. Like, I, I mean, I was always, I was, I'm, that's just who I am. You know right. what I mean? Like, I'm always just like. See, my wife, she left. She just went to the league early. She, just stopped. She, <laughs> just left. She stopped. Yeah, she went she to the stopped. league early, but I think she got a high school. She did hers, I believe, at, uh, she said she did hers at like Starbucks or some shit. What? Yeah, she was like, Psh, I'm gone. And it just stopped. For real? She got her, yeah, I think she graduated at Starbucks and then she was like, Psh. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. They watched it on the laptop at Starbucks or the actual graduation was in a Starbucks? No, I believe she had like a small collection of, cause y'all would meet somewhere, but yep. she said, yeah, she wanted Starbucks. Oh. I got, I got, my, I got, I got She I got wanted Starbucks. In the mail, it was just like right there, right yeah, in the living room, like, the, the cap, I'm like, bet. 
I was, I was, I was, what movie said next? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all Tiana just like that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side note, her, him and her are related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said, mm hmm. Cousins. It's crazy. <laughs> Her cousins? Cousins. cousins. I think it's through marriage. Yeah. It's you through marriage. Somebody. You, you cousins with me through marriage, yeah. technically. Right. Yeah. What up, cuz? What up, cuz? <laughs> I ain't no shit, cuz. I ain't no shit, cuz. What we doing after this, cuz? We ain't no shit, cuz. You his cousin, too, cuz. For real, cuz. We all good. That's why I did this all podcast, because it's my family. We could. Oh, <laughs> because it's my family. You ever find it hard to be vulnerable with your audience due to like the characters or anything that a film puts you in? In my personal life, it's definitely like a little tougher to kind of just open up. Because I feel like when I when I came into the game, like at that that young, it was cool to still be mystique. You didn't really talk about your personal mm -hmm. life that much. Now, now people want to know everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? They want to know your relationship. That's they want to know where your he family. Think, they want to know where you came from. You think you must. So it, it kind of, it definitely was a new space for me. Like, okay, I'm. Uh, I feel like I'm. I'm coming into a changing industry where, you know, it was like cool to be like this. Now it's like, yeah. take off them shades. Who yeah. you? You know what I'm saying? It's Look like me and I. All right, I'm, I'm Jacob. What's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm Jacob. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like it's definitely because as an actor, you you're living through somebody else's mm -hmm. shoes. Months yeah. at a time, and then you, you then you realize like I ain't really made no time for myself. Like how am I feeling? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What am I what am I going through in my personal life? And you try to keep your personal life as peaceful as possible because you gotta you you gotta your mind gotta be at mm -hmm. peace when you when you're doing these roles. You know what I'm saying? Like you unless unless it it fuels what you're already doing. But say I got something going on at home, and then I gotta come on set and be funny and happy all day, and I'm not really happy. You know what right. I'm saying? That's that's like. Take it's a toll. Out, you know, it take a toll on you, you feel me? And it'll cause you to block out the, anything that's going on in your personal life. Like, yo, I, I can't deal with this right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, they they looking at me to take this film to the next level and, you know, I, I audition for this four times. I need to I need to be in this. Make some of this You know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you got to be selfish with your time and you may not be answering the phone as much. Family members are like, why you answering the phone? I'm like, yo, I've been on set like all day. It's been night shoots back to back. I've been sleeping during the day, up all night. Right. Like it's it's different. Right. Like, right. Just, I love you. Real <laughs> talk. <laughs> I love Real you. Talk, but I, got I love you. Talk. Leave me alone, though. I I got you. I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> Once we're done, right? Once we're done, we go. You know what I'm saying? Can, can we, we tap in? Can we it, tap yeah. in the R and B, Jacob? Yeah. 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 Can it be Jacob. Lattimore season? Lattimore season, man. You know, I'm um, I haven't been in the studio in a year. Whoa! I haven't been in the studio in like a Should solid probably year. Probably featuring, bro. We already been. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we already been chopping. <laughs> you know up. that could. Yeah, yeah, we going crazy. You know that could. We going crazy now, but I'm I'm about to hop back in. I think for me, it was like I had dropped a lot of content last. What was that last year? Mm -hmm. I dropped three um, three albums over the past like three or four years. Connection one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. But then with the C Connection three, I dropped I re dropped one and two. So I had like 40 songs came, that came out. But the only new songs was the first 10. So everybody thought I dropped, you know, right. 40 new songs. I'm like, nah, these songs been out. It's just, I'm just reintroducing y'all to them because. Y'all seeing right. the shot finally. Yeah, you seeing the shot finally. Like y'all need to be yeah, reintroduced. Yeah. And like stuff I dropped a year ago, people like, when this come out? So it's always good to, artists, it's always good mm -hmm. to just keep like reintroducing your music because it's it's old to you, but it's new to a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I um I kind of just letting that, letting the music breathe and and I'm still like people like yo I ain't even know you do this yeah, and I'll repost my video old videos they like when you dropping something new man you caught me off girl when I was going through your videos I ain't know the nigga dance so much yeah yeah so when when I got signed to Jive at 13 that's when Chris and Usher was like so the you, guys you had at, to be able to at Jive you know what I'm saying and I, that's why I wanted to approach approach job because they knew what to do with like an artist like myself. You got any sleeper movies? Sleepers? That like movies that that we all seen but we didn't know that that was Jacob in it. Oh, um probably Maze Runner. Maze Runner. A lot of people didn't know I was in Maze Runner. I was in the first Maze Runner. Her? Yep. Uh -huh. oh, I remember Maze Runner. Yeah, like if you if you go back and look one. now you like look at this I nigga. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I had like two lines. It was crazy, but yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. that was the biggest Film I've like been a part of, been a part of like just that's when I seen what Hollywood is capable of. Like I mean, like so many people. I'm like, yo, this production is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like the level of 
excitement around it. Yeah, and the, the things they do to make a, a big budget movie like that and how they how they prep for it is crazy. Like the stunts and people uh, uh, attached to the wires and they flying through the air, like, ah! <laughs> running through the grievers and the, 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 the they building the walls and then you're seeing the walls, the walls close closing. for real. Like, they like <laughs> sliding through the, they like barely making it through. You got to get to whatever point before it closes yeah. all the time. Yep. Yeah, I ain't it's never crazy. seen it. I got to check that shit out. Now the first Maze Runner, it's, it's, I would say it's, 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 it's a classic. It's yeah. nice. It was a good one. He I'm was gonna check it. it. He I'm was gonna in. Check it. Yeah, he was in. I was in. You know. Hear it. And then I, I was, I was a little sad about not being a part of the next two movies. But um, at the time, I had did so many other projects for myself. I'm like, I'm like, oh, every everything worked out. Right. The time it was crazy because after that, I did Collateral Beauty with Will Smith. I did uh, Detroit, Catherine Bigelow. Man, you just yeah, I remember then, Detroit. Calmly dropped yeah. that, huh? This was like 26. Team. Like, oh, yeah, streaming way more we crazy going now. To get a ring, baby. Yeah, y'all was. Y'all. I missed that one, boy. I was going. <gasps> to, I was going to get a little jewelry, baby. The, I was going to the you jewelry store. You ain't had the braids. You had the. Yeah, I was going to the jewelry <laughs> store right quick, right quick, <laughs> uh, right quick, Jay. I ain't gonna get you go to the jewelry store right quick. You out there on the field? <laughs> yeah, I was a little busy. I was a little yeah. busy. Not the field, the court. <laughs> Is your real life for those that haven't tapped your your link yet for your music? Does your music translate to your life? Uh, sometimes, depending on depending on the song. Like, I mean, most of this because you know, there's some artists that'll stay surface level with the subject matter. Yeah. How deep? Like, how deep are you diving on these songs? I think that's when when I started doing the connection projects. That's when I started tapping into like what's really going on in my personal life. Because when I was young, I was just singing whatever songwriters Somebody gave. Somebody else wrote, right? You know what I'm saying? Like it was, I was having fun. I hadn't really, I hadn't really went through nothing yet. Yeah, that was you know our way saying? of asking: Are you writing your shit? Or no, I'm like, not. I'm not always or writing somebody everything. Somebody handing you like. A, a I'm not always album. writing everything, but I, I, I got a group of writers. I, that's that's watching me grow, mm. and I'm like, yo, this is what I want to talk about, and I will go in there and create some melodies, and they'll they'll fill in the blanks. Yeah, put for the me. words. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then like. Sick Pen, Rossi, these are like all Garen. These are all like in-house people I've uh, I've used for years. So Garen out here? Yeah, Garen. That's my boy. That's crazy. Yeah, Small Garen, world. Garen, man. I talked to him yesterday. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Within doing your newer songs and feeling like, all right, now I'm relating this more to me. Well, I think it also was a, a transition for me too because I came in the game so young. Mm -hmm. And it was like, all right, this is... I'm a grown man now, you know what I'm saying? Like my first record was on the label was called Like Em All and it was, you know, it's like, that's my, that's my, that's my, that's like my fan favorite song, you know what I'm saying? Up. So I was like, let me, let me show something a little, a different side of me, you know what I'm saying? This is like stripping all the, the pop star kind of young kid sing songy vibes and really just like show what I want to do. and. And, and and taking and taking control on what songs I want on my project. You know, when you with a label, you got to collaborate on what mm -hmm. songs are gonna go. And I feel like at that time, there was a lot of songs that I had recorded that I wanted to put out, but it just didn't make sense at the time. I was too young; the industry right. just wouldn't understand it or whatever. So, I um, as an independent artist, it's like whether it fails or succeeds, it's just like you did it. You know what I'm saying? You chose those records. You wanted to talk about that. And you just, as long as it feel baby. good to you, is it don't even matter, right? But yeah. luckily it did because I was able to do those small intimate venues and hear the words sing back to me. And like I'm like, okay, they feeling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like no yeah, matter, real no fan matter how big the room yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. The, if the crowd's interactive, the it gotta feel good. better. Yeah, when we drop um, the first connection, that I think the song called Mutual that Kevin Ross wrote, like it just it just connected. It just connected. Yeah. Like when I did my first. Connection show in uh, ATL, I was like, oh, they singing that thing. It's crazy. Uh, song called Mutual. I go. Uh, what if it were mutual, mutual? All you ever wanted was some understanding. Being in this moment wasn't how you planned it. And I had just went through a little, yeah. a little breakup yeah. situation. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm feeling life. this. Yeah. Yeah, you I know, like that. Don't even hesitate. I ain't been in the studio in a year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give it to it's me, been, man. Give me my applause for my dog, man. It's about to be Give time. my applause for my dog, man. 
<laughs> Mr. Mr. Lattimore. Man, yeah. dog. I want to uh, uh, transition on an up and coming project you got. House Party. Yes, sir. House Party. A reboot. Talk to us. Man, I'm excited about it, bro. It's like, I think we came the closest to like, to creating something that was dope with that with that name, you know, what I mean, because Hollywood is remaking a lot of rebooting a lot of big named you know f- franchises, right? And it was it was kind of spooky to get the call, and I was like, but I read the script, dope concept, mm-hmm. and I'm like, all right, and then I'm like, who in it? I'm like Tosin Cole, DC Young Fly, wrote Timmy. I'm like, okay, I know, I know all of them. Yeah. And the, and to me, I think the main thing is chemistry. Mm-hmm. When, with a film like this, it's like the chemistry got to be got to be right. It got to feel like we about to go to a house party and we about to see the homies, mm-hmm. you know. So I think um, that was my main focus. Is I, I really wasn't trying to remake the um, the original. I feel like because that was a different time and served a different purpose. Like we want to capture the culture where it is today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But also still pay homage to the classics. So. Um, it's gonna be dope, man. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited about it. Yeah, the trailer. Yeah. I saw the trailer yesterday. I don't watch the movie like three or four times. I'm yeah. like, I'm looking at it like. Also, it was produced by our people at uh, Spring Hill too. Spring Hill, LeBron. Yeah. Shout out to LeBron. Yeah, shout out. Shout yeah. out one to time, the reboot. Shout, shout out to, to the LeBron. reboot. Do the reboot some justice. Yeah, do the reboot. Man. Yeah, man. Do the reboot. Make sure we do that reboot justice out here, man. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, Donald Glover and his brother um, Jacob. Uh, and Lori, I think it's, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I think right. He um he wrote the script, so it's it's dope. dope. They, and they got they got a dope pen. They got oh, a dope pen. Yeah. So it was fire. Is it is it? I don't want to you know have you spill the beans on it, but is yeah. it is it like a perfect mix of the old uh, films and the new one, or is it? I think. Um, more of a new school vibe. I think together. it's definitely more of a new school vibe, but there there are shots certain the way we shoot certain things that pay homage to mm. the the original. Like I love that. the um, the scene where where the, the camera is panning in on the door and mm-hmm. getting closer and closer to mm-hmm. the door. Like we had to do certain scenes like that, um, and just make the party feel like them old school like basement parties where you know what I'm saying people are actually dancing. Girls is twerking and you know what I mean. It's hot. It, yeah, it's yeah. hot. And, and nobody cares about their edges being fucked. You up. feel me? Oh no, they care. It's just nothing. Well, you could if do. you're gonna relate, no, to it's now, nothing you could do. But he's saying that old essence. That, oh yeah, that yeah. Essence. yeah they no, wouldn't even come down the stairs now. Yeah, party. They wouldn't even come down the stairs now. Yeah. Shout out to Tosin, man. Tosin co-starring with me. He um, we had met. Literally, he was filming a uh, show called 61st Street okay. while we was filming season four. So I was like, yo, well, so what you doing out here? He's like, I'm filming this, uh, this show called 61st Street. Bam. A couple months later, I get the call for house party. I'm like, what? All right, bet. So I'm like, who in it? Tosin Cole? I'm like, bet. We just met. We just vibed. <laughs> Solid. We just vibed. I said, the universe just worked it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and Chuck Calmatic, like the way he, he, he a music video producer, but this is his right. That's his thing. He coming, he coming into this film yeah. crazy. He doing white man can't jump right now, yeah. and um, like the way he he shoot the, the 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 movie and the way we what we bring on the acting side and DC Young Fly bringing that the comedic side. It's like I think people are gonna be really shocked. I think they'll be shocked about how how well what we brought to the table. You know what I'm saying? Like. We wasn't trying to. I wasn't. I ain't got a high top. It ain't none of that. We ain't trying to. You're not you trying know, to recreate though. Yeah, we trying to reboot it. Give it. Give it. Give it a fresh feel because, and and it's a LA. It's a LA based house party because mm-hmm. house parties. That's the LA keep the house parties alive in real life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ain't playing no house music though. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know y'all not. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know y'all. Ain't not. No house music playing right, in the house party. Right. We got joke music. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm playing that new Iman Shunt. You know what's going on. Well, you could just leave the last name up. We're going to keep the last name on the jersey. Mm-hmm. It's just Iman. Iman. Yeah, my mama <laughs> gave me that name. My daddy gave me the other one. Oh. That's Art, a- basketball. Gotcha. I feel like it's, it's just a name, first and last. That's what I feel like. <laughs> that was a bar until you it's said just, that. Well, see, y'all, for a second, though, everybody in the room was like, wow, his mom does art. She gave me mine. See, and, and then here I come with that sword, that popping balloons. Like, bow, bow, he lying. Bow, <laughs> sword bow. to popping balloons. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. piece of shit. What's your dream role, man? Dream role? I was just talking about that. I don't got a dream role. I, 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 acting wasn't my first love, so I mm. wasn't really... 
I wouldn't really think about it. I mean, obviously, I think like a what's your challenge, bro? Some superhero vibes, like oh we, yeah, we oh would, yeah, yeah. He don't like hearing that. I mean, spit every, your shit. Everybody want to be go a ahead, superhero, spit your right? shit. But you like, go. I think, um, I would say my most. What type of superhero? There you go. Yeah. <sighs> go and say Miles. Who? Miles, He'd be a good Miles, Miles, Miles Morales. Morales would be crazy. He'll be a good Miles Morales. But. Um, you don't know who that is because you a fool. Static shock. I've been here. Stay. Just I've been stay. here. Static shock. Static shock too. Stay yeah. Stay around. confused. You all right? Stay confused. I mean, it really. I touched you. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I ain't really got a dream role for real. I I think what I just, I just want to do dope shit. Do your question that you wrote. My brother wrote this question all by himself. What my big say? brother. <laughs> with crayons. What is it? Yeah, with crayons. He wrote this. He wrote this <laughs> one ask, all by himself. We ask everybody every every interview. We ask them mm -hmm. what you're working on and trying to improve on. On yourself. Ooh, at this moment. I think I'm trying to work on being more patient with myself. Mm. Like I feel I like that shit. I feel like, you know, like yeah, being more yeah, being more patient with myself. You feel me? Like knowing that I got time. Mm -hmm. Even though I like life is short, but you got time. You got time. Take your time and then and really um, you know, just stick to it every day. If it's an hour a day. If I want to learn an instrument, like I think I was, when I was younger, I, um, I got introduced to the piano, but I didn't have enough patience with myself. But if I was like, man, if I had enough patience with myself, I, now I probably would have been a beast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I wanted it to know how to play it right then and there, because everything that I've like acting, acting was something that came easy, but anything else is like harder. So I want to. Make that sure instant like, gratification, right? Yeah. So when that, when I when I dive into something else like an instrument or like Broadway or or something like, I just want to be be patient with myself. I think that's the that's the most important thing for me, oh. and um, in every aspect, my relationship, my my career, um, even when I'm working out, if I feel like I'm getting a little too heavy, you feel me? You think that one workout just been a right? You think you go? Then you're gonna drop 10 pounds in one workout. I actually did this um this challenge called 75 Hard. You ever heard of that? 75 Hard? Yeah, so mm -hmm. basically, like it's it's a list of things you gotta do for 75 days. So mm -hmm. uh you gotta do two workouts a day, drink a gallon of water a day, read at least 10 pages a day or something. And then you take a progress pick or whatever, and but the app organize it for you so you literally like check everything off the list so in the morning i walk my dog for like 45 minutes boom click then i go to the i go to the gym run three miles click and then next thing you know by the end of the challenge you start looking at all the progress pic pictures you like oh my body has changed but i haven't really done anything extravagant it's just i'm doing something little every day a routine. so when you be patient with yourself like 75 days seem like a long time to do something but it's like you stick to something for for a, for a certain amount of time, your your body will change, your mind will change, your your whole lifestyle will change, that your habits will change. You know what I'm saying? So it was a it was a good little thing for me because I had did it during the holidays. I did mm. it during Thanksgiving. I was I, I ain't eat I ain't eat the you know the the normal Thanksgiving food. I was like my grandma was kind of upset with me about that. She like yeah. you ain't gonna eat. You ain't gonna eat no macaroni and cheese. I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't eat no dairy right we now. We gonna fight. Yeah, she was hot about that. You know what I'm saying? But um. It was crazy though. It was it was dope for me. <laughs> what? He don't like the fact that I you could like be dog. You don't, don't like it. Don't be bug ready. Don't be bug No, that's how she was. That's how she was feeling. But I don't feel like it was food. it was something I needed before I got to Chicago too, because Chicago got a lot of good food and. So you're a chubby kid. I can get. I can. I can get chubby. got the chubby gene. Yeah, yeah. It's it's easy. Don't be mad. He got the don't be mad. I already got the yeah, mellow gene. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Y'all all on the One week of just like. And, and, and no drinking. I couldn't drink no alcohol. You feel oh, me? I mean, that's cool. That's a good cleanse for you. And I, and I feel like everything started to change. You know what I'm saying? Like Attitude. Yeah, my girl's skin. like, your skin look good. Yeah. I'm like, baby. Skin <laughs> cleans up. Baby, yeah. you better cut All it out. All this sweat skin and water. And then, and then homie's like, yo, what you been doing, bro? I'm like, man, you 75 hard, man. You should, you should try that. You should try that, bro. Every show, <laughs> I like to tap in with <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. <laughs> Who thought of that app? No, it's just the name. Just, I know. But it, it you, I get it in the sense of how they're using it. Like, it's, it's hard to do everything, but it's hard to do it's everything. It's 7-5, man. Yeah, there you go. All right.
every show, I like to tap in on social media to answer some of the burning questions that I got from the fans. You know, we don't walk mm-hmm. past the fans every day. Got to. Ari, what's the question that we got today? Let's let's get on out on the branch. It comes from at Elizabeth Ellum on Twitter. I know she her. Asked, oh, you know no, her? I'm just playing. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> y'all rep the same smart tech. <laughs> <laughs> All right, her question was, Iman, does being a musician make you a better actor and vice versa? I think so. I think uh, one of my biggest advantages um, with being an actor is how quickly I can process words. Like I can pick up words really quick. And with making music, I learned that people resonate with uh, how you deliver something or how you say it. You know what I'm saying? So I incorporated that into my music. Just saying, instead of saying uh, whatever I wrote that sentence, I say it as if I'm saying it to my grandmother or I'm saying it when I'm drunk or I'm saying it when, I don't know, I'm really actually mad uh, and adding a feeling that everybody at home could resonate with. So I feel like that that goes hand to hand with acting, like delivering something and saying, I'm gonna deliver this how I would have delivered it when I was mad at my cousin that time. Cause that when I did it, I remember everybody in the room being like, whoa, like, so I'm gonna try and go to that place. Like, I feel like that's my way of going back and forth with it. Um, no, for sure. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. What about you, bro? I mean, uh, yeah, obviously I think um, like transitioning from music to, music to acting, I think that's what made it easy because like you said, like when we, when we doing music, doing music videos. We just talking about how Usher was acting in his visual. Like mm-hmm. you bring that to the to the screen is just it's just it's it's simpler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then um You get connection one, two and three. Yeah, exactly. Is it second nature though? Like you, they don't even have to tell y'all much. You it depends snap on the role though. Cause I yeah. did I did a I did one role where I felt like I had to go method. Like all the way. Where it was like I had to be like not myself at all. But the shy I can still be myself. I ain't really got to get outside of my, myself too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could chill a little bit. Milwaukee right up the block. You know, it's just, it's. Right. It's, it's, similar. A, it's similar vibes. Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Comfortable. Yeah, man. What about you? Like, going back and forth from music. To act well, in. I don't go back and forth to either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got anything you want to promote? Any new shows other than the movie? We hopping back in the studio. Mm. Music is on the way. Mm. Hey, man, the summer is ours. Oh, you did. man, you just get the cheese. You ready for the summer? When yeah. he mean ours, he mean Jacob and Emmett. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he means. Just us. Just <laughs> us. Ours. Just us. That's it. He gonna tell his girl like we leave here now. Like who is we? Like Emmett. me and you. No, Emmett, come me, you and Emmett. Get outside. <laughs> hey, who you talking you ever to? Ever give him a nickname? Is Emmett like M E E M E E E? Yeah, I think I said that a little bit in the um this season. A little bit. It's all good. If you're now tuning in, you went in that scene. We putting a rap to Iman amongst men. They really don't like each other. We had Jacob Lattimore. <laughs> Give it up one time for Jacob Lattimore, everybody. Love, love, love. Love y'all.